If it ain't Nola Zine TV, don't put it on. This flag boy gears and you rocking with Nola Zine TV. Okay, tell everybody where you from. So I'm a flag boy Gibbs. I'm from the Night Ward. I was born and raised in the Night Ward. Um, I spent a little time living uptown on Chopper Tulis with my baby mama. Um, now I'm a flag boy of the Wild Chopper Tulis. I ain't, you know, and um, I walk all the way from Chopper Tulis to St. Aug every year, talk trash about who didn't, who looked the prettiest every year. You know, this is an old little thing here. So, you know, this ain't the freshest piece of work, but I, I get a lot of good, um, good reviews of my work every year for Mardi Gras. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people like it. So, um, I've, uh, when you listen to Mardi Gras Indian music, the Chiefs are usually in the back. You know, the, the Spy Boys and Flag Boys are up to the front talking trash. So I took that same kind of approach to my music to make sure like my music is still like, you know, if a Flag Boy was making music, you know? And I'm pretty much the only Flag Boy in the city making music. We Outside was a song that was really just organic. I had the beat, it was a, a bounce beat. I had a couple of beats from DJ Iman and that was the one bounce beat. So listening to that, I kind of knew that like people wanted to be outside. We had been out inside for a long time. Everybody kept saying we was outside and I was like, man, let me just make a song about being an Indian that's outside. An Indian that's outside on Mardi Gras, meeting the other Indians, talking trash, walking around the whole city, not catching no U-Haul because you didn't went downtown on the bridge and now you want her up and get uptown without sweating. So you know, real, like it's old school 1950s, walk all the way from uptown to downtown. So I was like, that's, that's what the song is. It's like a New Orleans uh, old school bounce song because that's how these old bounce music used to really be gangster with it. You know, old bounce music was done by real gangsters. Them dudes used to be talking about gangster stuff in bounce music. So I was like, include all the street elements of being a Mardi Gras Indian, all the stuff that people be running from. You know, the Indians trying to run up on you and kill you on Mardi Gras and stuff. Include all that in the music and, you know, put it on it. So it, 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 it. We Outside has been a, a, a big song. You know, I didn't think this. I had uh, some prior engagements from months ago it's been, slow, it's been slowing me down on, and it's like, you know, career changing opportunities that I've had to put to the side for a little while just because this has been kind of overwhelming. But man, I like it all, man. The fact that so many people won't do it, it's just been, you know, it's been dope. Like the first time I posted and people said they wanted to do the remix, I was like, all right, I don't know how many people going to put on remix, but I'll let you do your verse. And nobody listened. I Maybe that's New Orleans Public School. I told people eight balls. I was getting 12, 16, 32s, 24s. And it was legends giving me 32. What you gonna say? You know what I'm saying? So I just was like, you know what? Let's try to make it work. I start doing the research. Like what's the what's the longest song to, to be like? The longest remix, the longest this. And I was like, man, this song got up to be about 12 minutes. And I was like, man, it's still not as long as some of these other songs be. You know what I'm saying? People put out songs which just win. People put out songs which, Sounds is just like earth sounds, and that's like real categories, and like who can make the most visual sound in the album. So what you mean I can't put all the legends of the city on one song? You know what I'm saying? Especially if they actually interested and want to get on there. And you know, worst case scenario, it's just a real. You know, even if you're not on the actual remix, it was a chance to just be a part of something to, to you know, have like some unity in the city. Like a lot of people working on one song. A lot of artists was like, man, how many people you gonna put on there? And I was like, man, many as I want. Cause I was like, you know, I don't know where his goal was. I'm like, I don't know if this is gonna be one longest. I'm like, YouTube music I, video. Yeah, one long <laughs> YouTube music video. That thing will be everybody's verse. If you've seen the the challenge, it's just reels. You really only see one hundred a minute and thirty seconds max. So people gave you longer than that. So you'll get to see everybody's verse, back not chopped up. You know what I'm saying? I might not put the lyrics on the actual full music video. The lyrics may just be like a. Instagram real kind of thing, um, the, you know, the closed caption. But for the video, it'll be all whoever is doing it. And I have a lot of names who, big names, who still want to do it. It's like you want to say no and say the remix over. But I'm gonna ask you if you had if you had plans to shut this thing down and one of your childhood idols said they wanted to do it, what you do? They would keep going. So that's just what that is. And um, a lot of, you know, I've been getting a lot of response. Some people think that I've been picking favorites. I don't pick favorites. It's just been 
who do you really know already? Like, who is hard to say no to? That's what it's at at this point. At this point, like, you know, it's, it's people who hit me up and it's like, man, I want to work with you, but I can't. Like, I don't want to say this lady's name, but if I show you this DM in my pocket and you'd be like, you told her you don't have the time? And it's like, at this point, we don't. Because we already made commitments to too many other artists right. to film with them. And we have already stuff we had already were working on. Like, you know, there's other songs on my album. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, uh, this was just the one bounce song. Right. Every album I'm going to have a bounce song. I ain't gonna lie to you. Just my honest opinion, all the comedians went the hardest. Comedians went very hard. Because they went to like New Orleans culture. Right. They started doing the dances, they started Mario, bringing it back. Mario had one of the hardest verses I saw. Mario, yeah. sub, Subtweet, Sean. Subtweet, Sean verse was cool, but Subtweet, Sean. And Frank White took it to a different level. <laughs> Frank Media. White, Frank White, <laughs> yeah, Frank White is a cheat code, though. <laughs> Frank White, you know what I'm saying? And even after it, like Frank White know how to market it. Like the way he did, like the rap genius breaking it down. Like Frank, you know, that's just saying. But me and Frank, man, we've been knowing each other over 20 years. Me and him played high school football together. You know what I'm saying? Practice next to each other with these uniforms right. on. So when you say who I'm picking favorites, I'm not like picking favorites. I already knew this man. He could call me and say, do this. And I was like, all right. I can't respond to 100 DMs a day. And I'm trying, like, I, um, shout out to Nusky, baby. Because Nusky got almost a million followers. And Nuski had to tell some people, like, man, he ain't picking favorites because they hit me up. Nuski hit me up. And when you see somebody with 870,000 followers, you ain't trying to ignore them. You definitely not. Right. But at the same time, it's like, I, I didn't even see the damn DM. <laughs> man. No, it's, I it's, it's bad. It's, but it's, it's good. But it's just like, I want, you know, I want people to know, like, I'm just doing it because I love the city and I love the, the bounce off. Like, I grew up on that, you know? Yeah. I grew up on that. Like, I remember being a baby listening to Q93 and it was like, give me some heroin, baby. Like, I didn't even know what heroin was. But bounce music was so gangster back then, you know what I'm saying? That it was just like, you know, that's what, that's what our sound is. I think a lot of people don't want to sound like they're from New Orleans. So, that's what I've been trying to tell people who want to show interest in getting a song. Like, what's your, what's your direction with it? Like, man, just sound like you're from New Orleans with it. That's that's what it is. Like, you don't want to, you know. A lot of people like to sound like other places. Like, what's popping? Sound like your roots. Sound like who you are. You know what I'm saying? Like, even with the Indian stuff. Like, I'm gonna keep the ch the call and response chants and keep it like, you know, traditional sound. But at the end of the day. I'm not trying to sound like no funk band. I don't listen to funk music in my car. Y'all, you know what I'm saying? We listen to black rap music. This is black tradition for that we make by black people and that we parade in the black neighborhood. It's a traditional black neighborhood because we couldn't go to Mardi Gras. So when you look at our music, I try to make sure the music I'm making is just so, so black, bro. And uh, thank you to all the bounce artists who didn't hopped on this remix, you know what I'm saying? All the rappers, all the, the comedians, every, just all the entertainers in general who then hopped on this remix, you know? All right, and um, you know, and we don't wanna hold you up too long, so we're gonna ask you this. I'm like, what's next for you? Next for me, man, well, I submitted this song for best remix, for best American Roots performance for the Grammys. Hopefully, um, you know, all the people who, who sent me their vocals in time, uh, they vote their version of this song. Hopefully this is something that's on the Grammy ballot and you got a lot of people in the city, cause you know, I feel I feel legendary if I could get Hot Boy around with him and Chopper Style and Miss T and Mia X and Grammy now. That'd be some legendary shit. I saw what John Batiste did with St. All Crowd with the Saint with the St. All band, PJ and them. And I'm just looking at this like, you know, that's what they always say. You look at the, the awards and you're like, thank you to all the collaborators. Well I guess I'm the new king of the collaborators, you heard me. So Hopefully the whole city could win and eat off of this. And, you know, I'll be promoting my album. I know I got to push some videos from my album within the next month or two. So I have to do that. That's going to be another task. So I can't keep doing it. We outside. Because <laughs> we the coldest city. Ain't nobody fucking with New Orleans. Our babies play music and try to talk shit to each other for Mardi Gras. The fucking babies. So niggas ain't never going to beat New Orleans. All right, and also, last but not least, tell everyone, I'm like, what can they find you at on Flag social Boy, media? Flag Boy Giz on everything. Flag Boy, G-I-Z, one word, all on everything, you hear me? Um, making sure that the culture got good representation. When you see me up there on stage, the people in my band will look like me. The 
people around me will be, look, this will look like us. And that's all I'm saying.